I live in a neighborhood called Fairfield Ranch, and it is your typical middle class neighborhood consisting of two story houses that were built in the early 2000s. Each house in my neighborhood looks relatively the same, which always results in people getting lost when they come over. Growing up, I didn't hang out or play outside with other kids in the neighborhood, not because I was not social, but mainly because of my strict parents. Growing up, though, I did become best friends with my next door neighbor. His name is Aaron, and we are still good friends till this day. I have lived in Chino Hills for 18 years and have experienced the development of this city. From a boring and empty city to a place that people from other cities come to eat and hang out. I've experienced living in a couple apartments and now a three room, two story house. The people that live here are mainly families that are raising up their children or a newlywed couple that are looking for a nice area to settle down. One of the most convenient things about living in Chino Hills is the 71 freeway. This city is basically built around this freeway. It allows us residents to get where we need to go quickly and easily. Driving north along this freeway, you'll be able to see one of Chino Hills' attractions a Hindu temple that was built in 2012 for our Indian community. This temple is usually full of people during events such as Diwali. Driving a few more miles down the 71 freeway, you'll come across the Chino Hill Spectrum. This is where most of us residents go by our necessities, such as groceries. Stores like Walmart, Target, and Best Buy fill up this area. Now, next to the Chino Hill Spectrum is the shops. A little outdoor mall that I would say has higher end stores than Chino Hill Spectrum. Stores and restaurants such as Yard House, Paxson, and Chipotle are located in this area. This place attracts a lot of younger people who come to study or simply to hang out with, with their friends. Not entering the freeway would have taken you to the Butterfield Ranch area of Chino Hills. This is where my high school, Chino Hills High School, is located. And like my neighborhood, this area is full of houses that are almost identical to each other. Many of my high school friends live in this area, so I'd always visit this area whenever we would hang out. A big difference between Fairfield Ranch and Butterfield Ranch are its hills. Butterfield Ranch is very hilly, which results in many state parks and hiking trails residing on this side of Chino Hills. Some people even hike up the trails at night to get a nice view of the city. Now, if we had turned to right coming out of my neighborhood, we would have been able to get to the other side of Chino Hills, closer to Chino. Where the big warehouses are located. Over the years of living here, I've experienced the development of this area, from looking empty and flat to now an area filled with huge warehouses where companies, big or small, are able to pursue their business. That being said, when I was younger, my dad used to rent a small office in, the, in this area, so I'd experience driving by whenever he would take me along to work. While driving along this part of Chino Hills, you will also notice that there is a prison, the California Institution for Men. This prison is 2,500 acres long and has fences surrounding it. Occasionally in the morning, you'll be able to catch a glimpse of the prisoners come out in their bright uniforms. 
Although I do live near a prison, I have never felt unsafe in this city. Having a big family of six, sometimes I wish we had a bigger house to accommodate our big family. But overall, I'm very thankful to be able to live in this area. Surprisingly, a lot of our residents complain that this city is boring, but I beg to differ. There are a lot of activities that can be done in this city. But the best part about the city is that it's the center of other cities, such as Diamond Bar, Walnut, Anaheim, and even Riverside. If I ever run out of things to do, I'm able to take the 71 freeway and make my way to another city. Overall, Chino Hills is an amazing place to live, from its wonderful family-friendly atmosphere to its fun characteristics. I can see myself staying here in the future.